Three games into the season and by his own admission, Arsene Wenger has already said Arsenal are facing a crisis. Paul Mariner, everyone knows what's gone on in the window, disastrous as it was for yep. Arsenal. How does Arsene Wenger go about fixing all of the problems now? That is a massive question. Um, he's got to start having meetings, individual meetings, collective meetings, the leaders of the group, whoever he thinks the leader of that, that dressing room is, he's got to get them in, he's got to talk to them. He's got to find out what system he's going to employ, uh, because the players in the building, they'll dictate the system, not, not the coach. Um, he's been swapping around, and there's not, no settled uh, formation, no settled uh, system. So. This is a massive task for Wenger, um, you know, and is he up to the task? This is the question, you know, we, we're hearing, you know, some of our colleagues over in the UK are, are saying there's no coaching going on, this is an absolute diabolical situation for us. This is critical, it's critical mass. They've got a lovely game at home at, to, to Bournemouth on Saturday, but he, he's got to get to it. Unfortunately, the players are, are away on international duty, so it's going to be a big ask, um, but it's, it's meetings, I, you know what, Ross? I just come to my thought the the, the pre-season with a football team, with as a footballer, is the most critical time. You get your fitness, you get everything bedded in. You get your systems. Whether you're going to switch to four four two, whether you're going to go to a back three, as he has been doing, that's where you do all your best work, and it's gone. Time after time over the last ten years, he's gone through tough spells during the season. Mm. It never appears to be this early on though, with this magnitude yeah. of issues facing him with the want away players. Yep. This is, he gave a very strange quote, this is a, a quote that he gave uh, just off the back of that uh, Liverpool game. He says, I've been at Arsenal for 20 years and, and you ask yourself all the time if you should continue leading the club and obviously everyone else is asking him that as well and also because we suffered quite a bit during the season. It's, it's a very strange so, uh, quote. I, would you really want the head of your company saying that? But, I certainly wouldn't. Ron Greenwood, Bobby Robson, Don Howe, all the great managers that I, that I worked under. You never heard ridiculous statements like that coming out of their mouths. It was always togetherness. We always knew what our, our plan was. We always knew, you know, if we play 4 3 1 2 or we play 4 4 2, whatever system, we'll ram it down the opposition's throat until they submit. Whereas with the arse, it's, it, it's, so, it's so up in the air. It's, it's a massive puzzle. They need leaders. The one leader, Sanchez, I don't know where his mind is at, uh, at, the, mo at the moment or when he gets back to London for, for the game on Saturday. He, he was the only leader that I saw. Christianity to a certain degree, yes. But then you start going through that group. Who are the leaders? Who are going to pull the team together on match day when it's not going quite well? And, and I don't know because th that quote that you just uh, said there from, from Wenger, it's a strange one. It doesn't... It's weird. <laughs> um, they've, they've played a back three, three different permutations of yep. that back three in three yep. games so far. Yep. He only plays a back three because he stumbled on it last season right. because he was trying to fit Oxley chamberlain into it. Oxley chamberlain has gone now, yep. so is it a complete rethink from him or does he just try and settle it down, try and paper over some cracks? I, I, think, I think he's a little bit stymied at the moment. I think he's got to keep, keep playing a three un, until he, he can work with the players in training and either work out, either hone this system down you know, with the right players in the right right places, or or you know, slowly but surely slide to maybe that back four. Bellerin playing uh, left hand side of, as a wing back, it doesn't work. It's all about balance. Players have got to be comfortable when they go out and, and playing in their roles. You know, you, you think about. I, I, I was getting excited when when Wenger said that Sanchez is staying. I thought, okay, Ozil, Sanchez, and Lacazette. That's a dynamite front three. I thought, you know, the supply lines to Lacazette, he's a great finisher, that's going to be fantastic. But then, as, as, the, as the transfer window was coming to a close, we're not selling Sanchez, he's stayed. Then all of a sudden, 65 million put, is put on the table. Oh, we're going to get Lamar, and they couldn't get that over the line. So therefore, Sanchez is going now. No, he's not going, he's staying. It's just an absolute shambles. And, and Gazidis and Wenger, and whoever the powers are, Above, above the, the head coach, there, they've got a lot to, to, to answer for because this season is in tatters. Poor planning then and uh, poor mood from the players returning from international duty. As Paul says, they've got Bournemouth at the weekend. That should uh, possibly give them an opportunity to sort some of these problems out. Or will it? Keep it here at ESPN FC.